In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to a process cost system. We'll take a look at test taking skills with relation to multiple choice questions with relation to the process cost system. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. First question, which of the following products would not use a process cost system? A, DVDs, B, jeans, C, soccer balls, D, hard drives, E, custom tile. So we'll go through this again and then we'll use the process of elimination to see if we can eliminate some of these items using the process of elimination. Which of the following products would not use a process cost system? So first, let's consider the process cost system. When you think of the process cost system, you're comparing it really to a job cost system typically. Therefore, what we expect to see in the answer is going to be things that we produce because we're producing inventory of some kind and types of things that would apply to a job cost or a process cost system. As you go through this, the main thing I would consider between the two, when would we use one versus another, a job cost or a process cost, would be you use a job cost when they're different in nature and a process cost when they're similar. Or in other words, a job cost when you have unique items or custom items and a process cost when you have very similar items that you're basically mass producing. So keeping that in mind, as, as we go through here, we're looking for the items that we would use a process cost system. Uh, so we, we, we would not use a process cost system. So in other words, we'd probably be using a job cost system. So DVDs, if we consider DVDs, then those are all pretty much the same. You would think that I would, once we know what the DVDs on it, we'd probably just process those and you can think of just a machine doing that. So anything you could think of a machine doing uh, very well without any help, that's usually gonna be something that's using a process cost system and not a job cost system. So I would think it wouldn't be DVDs because we're really looking in essence for a job cost system because we're not using a process cost system. And the next item is jeans. Now jeans sound a little bit more complex than, I mean, it depends on the kind of jeans, I guess, you know, I mean, there's custom jeans these days. So I'll keep that for now. I, you know, I don't know I, that it's not the DVDs, but it seems like that would be probably the next item. Soccer balls, soccer balls. I would think that are pretty custom. I mean, pretty standardized. Like I would think a machine can basically just crank out soccer balls. I, that's what my imagination on soccer balls would be. So I would think that that would be, uh, using a process cost system. And hard drives, if we're talking about a hard drive and like a computer, again, I, that's something that I'm imagining is put together with very little uh, manual components or customization typically needed, possibly. So I'm gonna say no, no on the hard drive. And then custom tile. Now note that if anything that says custom in the answer I, and you're making something like inventory would indicate a job cost system because it's, it's clearly gonna be custom and, or unique. So of the two, I would choose the custom tile as opposed to the jeans. The jeans, then I'm gonna say that's gonna be process and I would think that E then would be our answer. So if we go through this again, which of the following products would not use a process cost system? E, custom jeans. Again, the idea of custom really is gonna be the word that's going to stand out and should be able to, to make that a very fairly easy choice. Next question which does not generally apply to a process operations system. A, product separate identification. B, partially completed products are transferred between processes. C, different processes are managed separately. D, equivalent units are used to compute costs. So let's go through this again and go through the process of elimination, which does not generally apply to a process operations system. Okay, so process uh, operations, I'm thinking process cost type of system as opposed to a job cost system. So I'm always kind of looking to compare those two. If I'm, I'm thinking about a manufacturing company, these terms seem to deal with manufacturing type companies. 
And usually the two systems here are gonna be a process or a job cost. I'm considering here process operations being a term for a process cost system. So keeping that in mind, we'll go through these items and see if I can, you know, uh, cross anything out that looks obviously not to uh, be uh, appropriate. A, product separate identification. So these are characteristics which does not generally apply to a process operation system. So remember that the operation system like a, is gonna be tracking things as they go. We're usually thinking about things that are gonna be all the same as opposed to a, to a job cost system, which will typically be applying uh, costs to a particular job. So product separate identification, I would kind of think that that would be by a job to a job and not applied to a process. So it might be A, B, partially completed products are transferred between processes. Now, again, that, that's true under a process cost system. Uh, it might be true under a job cost system as well. So I'll, I'll keep that one for now. C, different processes are managed separately. So now again, our emphasis there is on the processes. So I would think that that's gonna be part of a process cost system. So I'm, I'm gonna say that one's cross that one out. D, equivalent units are used to compute costs. Now again, we might not know what a, an equivalent unit is. So I'll keep that one here. And then I'm gonna go back up to B where it says partially completed products are transferred between processes. Uh, note there, we might think that that applies to a job cost or and or a pro, uh, process cost, but it's saying here, which does not generally apply to a process cost. So I would think that that would be part of a process cost because partially completed uh, products are transferred between processes. Again, the goal is on the process. So I'm going to say that B looks pretty good and let's keep it between A and D and go through it again, which does not generally apply to a process operations system. A, product separate identification or D, uh, equivalent units are used to compute costs. So even if we're not really sure about this equivalent unit thing, uh, we might still go with A up here because the product separate identification, you would think would go to a job cost system and not to a process cost system because of course the process cost system means that we don't know uh, separately identified uh, processes or units of, of uh, inventory. So given that I would think A, and then to consider the equivalent units, the equivalent units are typically something that we're going to use not in a job cost system, but in a process cost system to help us to apply the costs out to the proper process. So the equivalent units is something that we would typically use uh, in a process cost system.